Handcuffs are restraint devices, designed to secure an individual's wrists in proximity to each other. Each cuff has a rotating arm, which engages with the ratchet, that prevents it from being opened, once closed around a person's wrist. Without the key, the handcuffs cannot be removed and the handcuffed person cannot move their wrists. Parts of a handcuffs are, swivels, the single strand with ratchet teeth, the double strand, rivets, pawl lock bar, double lock bar, lock spring, and double lock slot. Each end of the chain is attached to the handcuff, by a swivel. This allows the cuffs to rotate, without the chain becoming bound or entangled. The single strand is the main moving part of a pair of handcuffs. It is the single piece of curved steel, with fixed teeth along the outer edge. The strand rotates 360 degrees, around and through the double strand side. When closed, the fixed teeth of the single strand, engage with other ratcheting teeth on a small mechanism called the pawl. The pawl is under tension to stay engaged. The keyhole is commonly located in the middle of the body of each cuff. Using the handcuff key causes the pawl to retract. By rotating to the clockwise direction, the key pushes the pawl away from the single strand and allowing the handcuffs to open. To double lock the handcuff there is a small hole in the side of each cuff. In the center is a plunger type lever that when depressed double lock bar locks the cuff. It is activated by using the pointed end of the handcuff key to depress the round center about a quarter of an inch. Once the key is properly inserted, it has to be rotated in one direction to disengage the double locking mechanism and then rotated in the other direction to unlock the cuff. So this is the way a handcuff works.